Hey, what's going on, everybody? Hope all of you guys are doing well. So today I'm going to be reviewing Pee-wee's Big Adventure. Um, but before I get started, one, I just want to apologize for my last video. Kind of was rambling on a little bit on everything that's going on. So I uh, just wanted to point that out. Two, I finally made a playlist for the scary movie reviews that I did. Uh, it has its own separate uh, playlist now. So I will put the link to that playlist down in the description below. So you guys can indeed check those reviews out. Also, I will put the trailer, the link to the trailer down in the description, as well as the link to the IMDB page. So you guys can find out all the information you need on the film. Excuse me. And if you guys want to purchase uh, Pee-wee's Big Adventure, I will put the listing, the link to the listing of Groove's eBay page, uh, or I will put the link, the eBay link, an affiliated link to the listing for Pee-wee's Big Adventure. Um, I bought mine from Groove Entertainment for a good deal, so I figured I would do that. And it helps me out making a little uh, commission on it. doesn't cost anybody extra. Um, so all those will be down in the description below. But Pee-wee's Big Adventure is such a fun movie. It is directed by Tim Burton. This is his, what is it? Uh, directorial debut uh, didn't want to butcher that and it has a really great cast other than Paul Rubin you have uh, E.G. Daly Dottie uh, is the character she plays she would go on to you know be the voice of Tommy Pickles Powerpuff Girls and so many other characters she also auditioned for the voice Paul Rubin, such a talented character actor, kind of almost similar to the, you know, the Ernest character of his own time, you know, where he does all these movies and they're not really any sequels. They're just movies with that character. Um, that's kind of what Pee Wee reminds me of. And you could think of Pee Wee as the Ernest of the 80s and Ernest being the character uh, that we all love of the 90s. So, yeah, so it's pretty um, cool that he created this character. I think it used to be like originally a stand up routine type of thing that would eventually become a pop culture icon, merchandises, a TV series, uh, which eventually would launch some really well known names like Phil Hartman, um, Lawrence Fishburne, I think the guy who directed Boys in the Hood, Rob Zombie. Um, just so many great uh talented people and uh you have also uh, familiar faces you have some great cameos uh the large march scenes fantastic denny elfman of course scoring um but basically the plot is peewee has this really cool bike that has all these cool features and well it gets stolen um the first person he goes after is francis because francis wants to buy the bike he's wealthy and he figures he can buy anything anybody has and peewee tells him it's not for sale he goes to this magic shop like locks it up next thing you know his bike is stolen and he goes on this cross-country road trip to find his bike and it leads him to all these interesting characters that he befriends throughout the whole entire film yeah uh it's a typical plot but it's effective uh, I think it get, I think it's effectively uh, done really well. Um, there's never a dull moment. Every scene seems to be entertaining and funny as the next. Um, especially like the large marge or the bull riding or just so many different scenes. Uh, one scene that I thought was funny is when he's on the studio lot of Warner Brothers. He sees this like uh, actor who's wearing like the space suit and he has like this really squeaky soft spoken voice. And then the female shows up and she's got this deep voice. I thought that was pretty funny. But yeah, it's a film I would highly recommend for anybody who has not seen it to give it a watch, uh, to see how Tim Burton kind of got his start with everything. And uh, yeah, it's just a really great film. Of course, the character would go on to have more films. We'd get Big Top Pee Wee, which is where he, uh, you know, lives in this like southern town and a, a twister comes by and then he, you know, comes out from hiding and there's a circus on his property and then of course we have the christmas special that came out a few years back um but nonetheless it's a great film it's very entertaining very enjoyable funny um it's great to see everybody uh you know when they were a lot younger and you know this came out in 85 so it's always great to kind of 
travel back in time is in in some way um and Danny Elfman's score is great. Uh, there were some scenes in here. I remember, like, as a kid, would be, like, really creepy. Like, the scene with the doctors and the clowns. Um, that, that that scene can be a little a little creepy. Um, but nonetheless, just a really entertaining film. The Blu-ray, I thought, looked great. Um, it has some grainy. Uh, it does have the grain, uh, but not as bad as I've seen some titles or not as strong as other releases that I have seen other films that are available on Blu-ray and even 4K. Uh, but nonetheless, it's definitely worth having, definitely worth an upgrade. And if you have a 4K player that upscales it, it'll look really clean. I, I really... Uh, cannot get over how nice this looked because my 4k player does upscale it so it looked really good yes the green was there but it wasn't over the top uh, but nonetheless that is my review for peewee's big adventure thank you guys so much for tuning in to this review i hope you guys enjoyed and if you've seen it let me know what your thoughts are down below uh, don't forget to give this video a like subscribe to the channel again the link to the scary movie playlist will be down in the description below as well as the affiliated link to the blu-ray uh, where you guys can purchase it and the trailer and imdb page the links will be down uh, below as well and if you guys want to send me subscriber mail you can do that my email will be down uh in there as well and check out my ebay store that link down there too so thank you guys so much i'm fun talk with mikey until next time we'll talk films peace